everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for everybody who has recently subscribed and commented. So excited that you're here. Do keep the comments coming. I do try to respond to every one of them. If I miss them, it is a genuine mistake, so please forgive me if I do. Anyway, thank you so much. I'm excited. Let's just make this a lot of fun, enjoying the best game in the franchise. Yay! Okay, so we are actually back in Pleasant View. We're going to be doing a Let's Play today with the kitties. Now, as I believe it was E Street Angel pointed out, yes, this is me playing Violet Kitty organically, starting with her parents. That is how I started when TS2 first went live back in 2004, and it just seems that that's what I should do here today. So before we get into it, let's see what happened behind the scenes as I was playing other people in this Let's Play. So while I was playing off camera, Edward brought Iris on vacation, and as soon as they arrived, the burglar tried to break in, and Dorian Cocker decided to get his rear end kicked, apparently. That's great. What a fight. I guess I'm not the cop I used to be. Thanks, Dorian. Edward got struck by lightning and decided to splash in a puddle, so I have to go get him clean while Violet just is fishing as his guest. She's filling up her inventory and will have quite a lot of cash when she's finished. I probably called her Violet last time, but I meant Iris is patiently waiting in the minivan while Edward is finishing up the harvest before they head home to Pleasant View. I had Edward check out Iris exactly one time and that was all she needed to seal the deal that he was the sim for her. I was supposed to be. Very nice. And now they're in love and they did that completely autonomously. Well, mostly autonomously. Isn't that sweet? So when Jacqueline was the host and they were the guests, they decided to get it on right when the minivan came to pick him up to go. Their re relationship is progressing very, very naturally. Good job, Iris and Edward. Way to go. And they are all such good friends now. I just love seeing them admire each other, play, you know, just do things autonomously because they enjoy being around each other. And, oh, she thinks he's pretty hot, but nope, she's got a thing for Edward, though. But she does think he's pretty handsome. So there's that. Okay. So between the four of them, they each are taking four or three vacations. And this is a nice little finale because this is the only one where all four of them are along. And, oh, nice! Oh my, my, lovely. Well, we've got things to do, James. Get to work. This is their final vacation together, and Jacqueline is the hostess. But I am actually going to do something a little different. No, no. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice, Jacqueline. Okay, and Jacqueline, why don't you propose marriage? <laughs> propose marriage. Like, that's a real afterthought there. Nice. Thank you very much, Iris. Okay, wonderful. And no sense in waiting around. Let's just do it. Okay, it's been a really long time since I had a wedding at a public venue, but we're going to get Jacqueline and James married here. This is at Sim City Christian Center. Oh. Mm. 
and anyone around spins into their there we go and he brought 25,992 plus he's got quite a lot in his inventory to sell and we'll be able to buy the trailer outright yay and they cut the cake very nicely <laughs> It's a nice wedding. And even the barista is having some cake, so we love that for her. And even the unsavory Charlton is having some. Hey, why not? Let's turn on the lights. And Jacqueline's being a good simizen and cleaning up after everyone. So now that everybody's caught up as to where we are, we'll just go ahead and get into it. We're going to play again from Iris's point of view, but now we're going to do focusing on a little romance and basically flesh out the romance between Iris and Edward. Obviously, they're already in love. They've had their first makeout session. But they're still young and they've had they've had enough time to do what they need to do. But I've got one more thing that I do need to do first. So with all the vacations that they have taken, and just to prove it to you that she has done so many vacations, we can look here in Iris's memories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 vacations she's had. She has earned all of her skills and she's got all of the badges, all the crafting badges and gardening and fishing, not the business badges, not sales, cashier, or restocking, but she's got all the other badges or oh, also cosmetology, but she has all the other badges. She has seven out of 11 badges and she also has an extremely full inventory with a lot of fish. Look at this. So she's got two scrolls and a lot of fish that can be sold. We're going to go ahead and sell those right now, see where that leaves her financially. Okay, so after emptying out her inventory of all the fish, she now has 224,324 simoleons to her name. She is more than prepared to be a mother to my most iconic sim, Violet Kitty. But it is actually just after 6 p.m. I was hoping to get everything done before 6 in order to do something but since it's after six I'm gonna play her for 24 hours where the only thing I do with her is have her make snapdragons because I can so since her last vacation left her in great shape she will just make snapdragons for just up until just shy of 6 p.m. on Tuesday and then I'm going to evict her and show you what we're doing next and she has been admitted into the mechanics club as well as the gardening club and the art club. And science is her thing. So I'm actually going to keep her secondary aspiration as knowledge because that works. I have actually tried to give them more choices, more different personalities than I did in my first playthrough because I've just switched it up a bit in the 19 years that I've been playing. And so I put her first five snapdragons around her so the only need that she has that is dropping is her energy need and she's going to fill up her inventory with this. Yes, her aspiration is going to fail or not fail but fall pretty low. We're not really worried about that because like I said I'll be evicting her at this point now in 12 hours and oftentimes when you evict and then put them places their aspiration drops low anyway so I don't mind that it's going to go into low green. I'm going to have her catch a few Z's in the Fertilinator that comes with life stories and as soon as that's finished she will go ahead and start making snapdragons again. So after a good day's rest she's in the final hour before I'm going to evict her and why oh just finished that one. I just want to make sure that I, she gets done right before six. She doesn't have time to do another one. And so now I will put 
this plus the five snapdragons that are around her into her inventory, exit to the neighborhood and evict her. So here I am, I am going to go ahead and evict our Miss Kitty. See, James and Jacqueline are living together, yay. So we're gonna evict Miss Kitty, yes. And she currently has 240675 Now, if you want to know why I evicted her, it's because I want her to go in and rent that trailer back, but I want her to rent it back furnished. The reason is, is not so I get the free furniture, but because I've already spent a lot of time furnishing it beautifully, and I don't want to go through that. So what I did was I actually determined how much the lot is. Okay, so this total lot is actually $400. 5,021 simoleons and now doing a prorated number based on how many tiles she has versus how many total tiles in the lot Iris owes 134,402 I wrote that down so now we will go ahead and move into an empty lot and re-rent it and here she is moving in on the first day do not go play basketball, Iris. Now in order for us to be able to purchase this furnished or rent it furnished, they absolutely cannot have anything up here in their action queue. So with bull props, testing sheets enabled true, shift click on the door to rent furnished apartment. Now let's go back to see her. And it didn't take, sometimes you have to do it more than once. So, would you like to rent this apartment? Yes, and let's make sure. So she lost the 5000 which she actually paid yesterday, and that's okay. I'm really okay that she paid 5000 two days in a row. So now the trailer is fully furnished. Like I said, I'm not trying to get it free. What I'm doing now is I cannot use the family funds cheat because if you have two families with the exact same last name, it randomizes. It'll probably take it from Iris, but it could take the money from Edward, and I don't want that to happen. So with moving move objects on, I'm going to actually do something a little different. So knowing that I owe 134,402, and I currently have 235,628, I'm going to spend money down. So after having bought these three shells from open for business I'm sitting at 234 428 so we're gonna spend it down until like I said I'm at about a hundred thousand and after I filled up my shelves with a bunch of the Song Dynasty vases plus this one sculpture the ideal sin by Van Mel I'm at the financial point that I want and now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these with the objects on them because I only get the cost of the shelves back not of the items so I've effectively just purchased everything now there is one little snafu in this apartment that I don't know how I did before I did it I accidentally knocked out a wall right here so I will have to use an apartment sheet in order to be able to build it back in because this is actually the walk-in shower <laughs> And if you didn't know what the cheat is to be able to build on apartments after you've built them, it is bullprop apartment sub lot specific tools disabled false. And I will actually put that in the description. So now that you do it, you click over and I can build that one wall that I need, put this in, and then put that in and now it has been returned to wholeness. So let's just do a quick tour of the of the lot so we can see what we've got. We've got one grand room with seating at the with seating at a breakfast counter plus seating for 6 in the dining room and then down this direction we've got one two 
bedrooms plus a nursery, a general recreation room over here, and a ballet room. We are going to lock that for household only because it irritates me when my guests just start doing ballet. Just not going to lie, it does. Got a bathroom here. Then the master is here with a nice walk-in closet and what a Oh, that was not actually a shower room. That was the toilet room. This is the walk-in shower and the tub on a dais and a master bedroom. This is everything in green because that's the way I did it. Every house on this lot is color-coded and I will upload it so anyone can enjoy it. Now that we have taken care of the minutia, let's get down and play this game. Now Iris and Edward are young and in love and you know, let's do some dating. Yes, their relationship is fantastic, but let's not skip the romance. Let's not skip the romance. So yes, we will ask uh, Edward on a date. Ah, I got tea. Yes, let's go to a community lot. All right, and now the taxi will be by. She's got that artistic, oh, let's listen to our radio. And she does need to pee. They always need to pee first thing when they move in. And she's very happy with her home, even in her little toilet room. Look at this environment score. <laughs> All right, and it's asking me where I want to go. And actually, we are going to go to, um, let's see, Hedman's Hideaway, right? Don't I have a Hedman's Hideaway in here? Yeah, Hedman's Hideaway. We'll go to Hedman's Hideaway because that's where the first Violet Kitty had her first date with Jacob. Okay, so here we are at Hedman's Hideaway. This is a tile for tile reproduction of Hedman's Hideaway in Sims 1. I am very pleased with it. So let's take a quick look-see around. I think it's pretty. It turned out really nice. Matter of fact, the, actually the TS1 hot date lots were all pretty good. So because of TS1 pathing, things had to be made much larger, and so I could either put more tables in, which I don't want because that creates more NPCs, or I could put more art in, or I could make the entire lot smaller. But at the point that I built this, I didn't realize that I didn't need this much space. So in the way I build today, I would actually make this smaller or fill it out more. But yeah, it is actually a tile for tile representation. We've got our ladies room, gents room, and the kitchen as well as the main dining room plus the bar over here. Like like I said, today I would actually make it significantly smaller. So good dating is as once based as can be. So I am going to have Iris fulfill both hers and Edward's wants as much as possible to get that going and get them into this before they sit down to dinner. All right, so he wants to be tickled and she wants to tickle, so that's a that's a bonus. They each get two wants satisfied for this, and we don't need to continue chatting. Let's just go ahead in for the very romantic tickle and then just continue upping that score until I'm at least at great, if not dream date, before we ask for a table. And I, Edward spun up the desire to marry Iris. Let's not put the cart before ho the horses there, Edward, but we will lock that in. Now, since they don't seem to be spinning up the romantic ones, I'm actually going to have Iris fl do a quick caress for him. And, oh, there, get married. We love that. Not going to happen today. But then appreciate him. And that should put her into the more romantic mood as well. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Entertain him again, please, my dear. Because I want her to spin up. I also want her to be fully... Oh, she doesn't seem to want to kiss him. Okay, let's tickle him. Go in for the tickle. He wants to kiss her. Come on. And let's see. Appreciate him. Please appreciate him. There we go. I bet. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Now go in for the makeout session. And they've already had that in Takamizu Village as their first. So there we go. And now they are on great date. Let's go get a table. I do love it when they autonomously do stuff like this. 
the kiss up the arm. He's just, he's really feeling it. And here they are in the restaurant, restaurant, and you'll want to pay attention to what your da date's thought bubbles say, because that'll tell you what they want to eat. And well, let's just talk about construction. But okay, why don't we actually just go chef's choice? Tell us, you you pick it up, you pick it up. And there's the thought bubble, but I had already ordered. That's fine. Edward can get whatever chef's, chef's choice. So then, once we're on this, we can choose entertain, toast. These are specific. Oh, it actually, the chef actually chose exactly what Edward wanted. How, how fortuitous. And she's getting some prawns, and he's getting, it looks like, pork chops. Okay, and go ahead and blow a kiss to him, Iris, and flirt, feed him a bite, also flirt, caress his hands, oh, so cute, entertain, let's toast, we are in love, Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I do love dates. I do love dating. Play. Throw some food at him. See how that works. They both want to get married, but neither of them have spun up the want to get engaged. Oh my gosh. He took it well. He took it well. Okay. How about how about that toast? We haven't done the toast yet. There we go. To us and to the child that we will bear. And there we go. She's finished, but he's still eating. That's all right. And how about, uh, let's see, any other specific, you know what, okay, there we go. The pianist is not particularly good, not going to lie. Why don't you give him a back rub, Iris? Give him a back rub. Wonderful. And maybe let's make out again, because, you know, public displays of affection. There we go. And they're not going to get a Miss Crumple Bottom because I don't have a downtown attached. One reason not to have a downtown. Now they're on great date, and we love that for them. And they both want to woohoo, and they both want to get married. Now you can actually increase your future service with waiter NPCs by making sure you tip them. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tip both the waiters a hundred simoleons, which is well over the cost of the bill, but you know, it's just simoleons. I got plenty of them. Just walk right in. Just walk right in. Oh, and give them a ser serenade. Yes, that's, that's great. And like I said, tip the server. It does actually increase how well they take care of you the next time you visit them. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for your great service. Now, there is an opportunity to try to dine and dash, but you know what? Iris is an honest woman. But maybe some of her some of her children or grandchildren are not necessarily, but Iris is an honest woman. So we are going to pay our bill and leave and go someplace else. We're going to go to Land Grab Mall. So here we are at the mall. This has the toy and candy shop, a little diner, and a flower and other shop. I actually do need to update this other shop because there's things that I needed to add, but I haven't done that yet. We're going to have Iris try on an outfit. She does not want to take a photo. 
That's fine. But she does want woohoo and she wants to marry Edward and he wants the same. And their date is almost over, so it's not going to worry anyway. It's still a great date, but I was hoping to get a little more done. <laughs> the time's going to run out. That's okay. Okay. There we go. Ran out. Didn't get what I wanted to get done. Done. So, you know what? Great first date. So, they had a great time. It looks like Edward already took leave. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and enjoy this this area first. Let's gonna let's turn that on and do some dancing here, Iris. Oh no, he is here. Why don't we dance the smussel? Because nothing makes anything better like a good smussel. You go, Iris. So let's tour this. On this side is the clothing shop and on this side is the grocery. I will also put florals over here but this was built before open for business so it's just groceries but I would also these end up the perfume for some reason or another they end up backwards no matter what I do and I don't think she can use them if I put them there. Oh I, yeah she can't use them and I also like to put any other little thing that goes on a countertop in here when I do that or I also put them over here. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's buy some video games. We need video games, right? We should have every video game known to Sim. And we also like to have magazines. Now, the number one reason to buy the magazines is to raise interest so your couples have common things to talk about and they don't alienate each other at the dinner table. And let's go greet Mary Sue and that apartment life townie. Okay, and also apartment life townie is definitely a tough guy so let's give him a tough handshake. There we go. And you know, she's had a really great day, so we're going to go ahead and head home and get her started on living her life. Iris wanted to play a little bit of chess, and you know what? Jane is here. That's a really great opportunity to make friends. Chess is so easy for making friends safely. Come on, Jane. Come join me. And we don't know that we're going to become a witch, but we don't know that we're not. And once their friendship is nice and high, and she's been home away from home for almost 24 hours, actually over 24 hours at this point, so we're just going to go ahead and go home now. She wants to take a bath or a shower. There you go. That's nice. And she's home. She is absolutely feeling miserable. She might pass out before she gets to her bed. She's like, oh my gosh, I gotta go to bed. I really gotta go to bed. And if you want your Sims to work around the clock, then you can start filling their home with a bunch of journalism awards and it's actually possible to do that without cheating, but I'm not gonna do that. I want my Sims to have a more realistic life, but I want taking care of them to be easier. That's why I had her make Snapdragons and I'm going to put five next to every bed. So she put herself to bed and we're just going to go ahead and let those snapdragons do what they're supposed to do, filling everything up while the bed fills up the, the energy. And now after a good day's rest, she's ready to do it again. Although she does want to blog about arts and crafts, she wants to talk about a hobby, and she still wants to marry Edward. Well, of course she does. I actually locked that in. And she does like to bird watch and she wants to go hiking so why not let's go ahead and do that because you know what let's take James for a hike sure yeah get yeah and do it in your nighty sure not a problem she's just sitting there he's like he oh okay there she changed a little bit late on the uptake there Iris and there goes Dora. 
Artemis. And they didn't get any, or, oh, did they? Oh, they got a skunk. Okay. All right. That's fine. Not a huge hit. She was feeling fine. Now she'd like to hunt some bugs. Again, I try to just satisfy once in between doing the things that I want them to do. And she'll get the one the first time she catches a bug. Great job. She wants to see a wolf. That's because she is a little more sciency and knowledge and she would like to buy a telescope costing at least 2,000 simoleons. I might do that but just put it in and take it out because I can't actually put it anywhere. You can't. She can't even put it on her little deck that's associated with her mobile home. And occasionally you do disturb the wasps. It says bees but honestly wasps are much more terrifying. Legitimately they're bastards. Okay, so after I bought that telescope, she actually spun up the want to become a witch. She wants that in her world. I think I'm going to let that happen. So we are going to call our friend the infallibly good witch and invite her over. And she actually does have 327,670 aspiration points, which is actually the maximum. So she may as well use it. And we're going to use this on one of those. So she will meet her new friend with an appreciate. Actually, you know what? Oh, yeah. I love good witches because they clean up your lot if there was anything. So actually, let's do a... Uh, and admire. We have a good daily relationship, but we've got only three points of lifetime, so she can't do. And well, I told you to admire admire your new friend. Let's try this again. Admire Jane. All right, great. Now we have a good daily relationship, and you know what? Let's go ahead. Or not daily. We've got ten points of lifetime, so that's a good start. Nice thing about home is you can have access to all your aspiration items. You can do it on an open for business or a vacation lot too. Why don't you do a bust a move? I told you to, but it dropped out. Okay, come on, bust a move. And that's why I like to have them get their dance skills because bust a move is great for, we just added 19 lifetime points. Now I'm having her run back to her trailer and then we're going to call Jane over because constantly having to hunt Jane down while we return to the mobile home to put on the shades is kind of irritating. And once Jane is here, we're also going to give her a back rub. All right, and then we're going to talk about a hobby because there we go and now oh no she spun it away she spun it she now she doesn't want Jane to be a witch and she don't want to be a witch either okay well um, what I will do we're gonna try to give her a tickle Let's see if we can get that done and we need Jane to be our best friend now because I want to roll something away or appreciate oh nice she got a hug and now she's leaving okay well I guess that's not gonna happen so this was awkward she went and sat in this little sitting area she could sit down but she can't apparently figure out how to get out now Iris has traditionally had the military career but I will let her get whatever job seems the most appropriate for her with her science and okay music music career track coffee sound maybe and she has no well she's got three friends four friends actually gamer track flag capture maybe little geeky she's into science adventurer I don't think so but she could do it And the science career as an inventor, you know what? That's what we're going to do. She is going to be an, inv an inventor, and her 
carpool will arrive at 9 and she goes to work not today but tomorrow so after getting a good night's sleep and just being ready for her day i feel like iris and edward and she's neat so she automatically makes her bed we love that for her i feel like iris and edward should have another date maybe a little less formal this time and while she's waiting for the cab to come we're doing a little bit of solo dancing she's got good moves not gonna lie sims 2 sims dance so much better than sims 4 sims okay so we're gonna go to vk's hot spot so here is my vk's hot spot i did design this literally right after nightlife came out so it does have a space in it for new items to be added but this is how it is packaged So first things first, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get their meter up in about this, at least in the grade, if not the dream date category, and then we're going to start having fun. And it's raining here, but Edward, let's bowl a little. How about some bowling? He wants to go bowling. And they're both going to be really good at it because they both have maxed out their body skill. I don't think either of them have maxed out their fitness. They've got plenty of time to do that. Strike! What about you, Edward? Are you going to get a... Oh, look at this. Tandem bowling. And tandem strikes. They're having a great day. They're going to both like a duet 300. Good going. They're nothing, nothing but balls. Oh, that sounded really bad. So once Iris is in the photo booth, I'm going to click on Edward and ask him to join. And let's take some photos together. Now she is afraid of being rejected for photo booth woohoo. But I just don't think he's going to reject her. I, I, yeah, yeah, just didn't think that was going to happen. There we go. Dream date. And she wants a dream date. He does not want one yet, but let's make sure he would like to have a photo with her. So, Iris, you get in there again, and they've got public woohoo. And Edward, you join us, please. And now we're going to now we're going to actually take a romantic picture. and check to see what we got. Aw, look at those, and we'll put those on the wall when we get home. We love those for you. All right, and though they both want to get married, neither of them have actually spun up the want to get engaged, which is why I'm kind of waiting. But Iris is actually 27 days, and I want, to want her to get married tomorrow on after when she's 26 days, and he's still 29, and then she can take three sips of elixir and he can have two and they wanted to sing together or at least he wanted to sing she wasn't into it so much but oh my gosh they're so cute together they love each other so much a little bit there we go Aww, we love that for them He's got a great singing voice. <laughs> I mean, they all do, but... Well, he would have a great singing voice because that's based off creativity. Very good. And, oh, finish it out with a sweet kiss. We love that for you. And you know what? She decided, I'm just going to go ahead and sing along, too. Let's just appreciate how awesome of a vocalist she is. What a wonderful date. Actually, that doesn't sound that different than my own singing voice, not gonna lie. Time is running out, but we don't care because we're gonna have a great date. He just told her a great joke. And she just serenaded him. 
and they want to kiss a little actually see if I can get that one locked in I've got 24 minutes yes I can let's go ahead and do a make out and you know what why don't we cl uh, does either neither of them has a proposal option I really wish they did why don't uh, we do a classic dance Oh, and there we go. Great date. Let's head home. And now that we're at home, we're going to do a little romantic home date. Now I'm going to click this and make a group meal of, let's try, you know, lobster thermidor because we can. Hopefully she doesn't burn it because it is her first time making it. And we do need to make sure, where's Edward, that we let him in. Okay, great. And now, just put those away for now, please. Wonderful. Where's Edward? Edward, where are you? Okay, so we may have missed him. We're going to just go ahead and ask him directly over right now. Edward's answering machine, he's not home. He lives on the lot. He's got to be somewhere. We're just going to go over and ask him to come out, please. Okay, now what we're going to do is ask on a date. Hey, you want to have a date? Just right here, right now? Yeah. Okay, great. But he, then he went inside. So after getting him to come out, he's shown her the autonomous love, but they're still just hanging out on his front porch, which is great. All right, let's do some actual flirtation. And she actually spun them up without me needing to. Oh, good. There we go. Hot date. And I think, you know what? We're just going to go ahead. Neither of them seem to be interested in asking me, but let's just go ahead and do it. Come on, kids. Oh, this is a great... There we go. You know, honestly, I took the cutscenes out a long time ago, but I do enjoy them. So I put them back recently. So I got them into the hot springs, but I can't seem to get Edward out of the hot springs to do anything else right now. So I'm just going to quit and end the date. And next, I'm actually going to just go ahead and get these two crazy kids married because she's at the 26-day mark, which is the day I wanted her to get married. All right, now that she's here, she's going to buy a couple things, namely a cell phone and a wedding gown. And now with that project done, I am going to click on her to invite the group over just for fun. Everybody in the wedding party, that's right. Okay. And this is actually a group that Iris made and groups can be done. Anyone that's in the group can start an outing for that group. So, yep, let's go ahead and do that. Yay! Not Iris, Jacqueline made this group. All right, we're going to run into the sanctuary there, Iris. and now call everybody over. So Edward decided to lay a smooch on her. We love that for them. Well, I don't know if Jacqueline's here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get married, you two crazy kids. And I forgot to set her wedding dress. I literally bought her a wedding dress and I forgot to set it, but that's okay. It's still pretty. You know, it doesn't have to be white. White actually isn't a huge tradition. It's only been a tradition <laughs> since Queen Victoria wore it when she got married in the 1800s. And Edward brought 21100 to the family funds. And now these two crazy kids are ready to go on an island vacation. And we will actually lock that in. Okay, so now that we've gotten married, let's go ahead and cut the cake. Even though this isn't a wedding party at this venue, they can still do everything. There we go. Very nice and civilized. And James Steelerman clearly wants to make a toast.
but he's grabbing the cake too. Jacqueline apparently didn't come along. She's missing out on the fun. Although technically Violet didn't make it to her wedding, so I feel like, you know, Jacqueline felt snubbed. Yeah, that's the way that happens. She's like, I had a headache. I'm fully skilled. Yeah, yeah, so am I. I don't have a job. I don't. Violet's like, I do. I love how they love to talk about their accomplishments. I've got full pottery skill. Hey, and you know, some townies and the barista, they're joining us. We appreciate that. Makes it a little. Oh, yep, and an another townie, or maybe she was probably the cashier. I want to have children. So this is a nice little wedding. You know, they don't know too many people to invite, but they invited enough. What you doing, Edward? And he's getting another piece of cake. He's like, yeah, that was good. I'll have a second one. I could get use the buffet and fill that up, but, you know, we've got the cake. As a matter of fact, this cake was actually complimentary because it respawns every time. I load this lot, so... And good job cleaning up after your guests. Meet new people, make friends, that's great. And Edward would like to be a world-class ballet dancer, and we'll see that that happens for him. Iris is taking those dishes into the basement of the fellowship hall because that's where the dishwasher is. Good job, though. Very conscientious. I love that. Iris and James are engaging in a friendly punch you, punch me. And now I'm going to have them go home. Thank you so much. It was a great wedding. Poor Iris is exhausted. It was a really big day for her. I feel like she and Edward really need a tropical honeymoon. And then when she gets home from there, she'll be ready to start her career. Anyway, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.